Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you don't know what OneDrive is, well technically it's a cloud-based system that is created from Microsoft. It's pretty much a in tightly integrated program that's installed in Windows 10 when you get it. Uh, if you don't know about it, it used to exist another name that used to be called um, SkyDrive, but if I was correct, there was some type of copywriter name title policy that they had to just cause them to change it. Um, regardless, if you're not a fan that likes to use OneDrive that you pretty much prefer using like Dropbox or Google Drive or like Apple iCloud Drive, then say no more. Or let's say if you're just not a big fan for it, then you just want to disable it, then save for it too. It doesn't really matter. Regardless, we're going to be showing you how to do it. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the first option we're going to do is pretty much showing you in Registry Editor. This allows it to work on Windows 10 Home Edition and Pro and Enterprise. So let's go ahead and get started. Now technically if you don't want to do this route, I'll probably just skip through. And if you want to do a better option using Group Policy, then go ahead and skip over to it. And this one allows it to work for Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. Regardless, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing to do is go to Start. And if you see the search bar, go ahead and type in Reg Edit. And you'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes. And mine looks a little bit different right now. Let me actually fix this for you. Most likely you'll probably see something that looks like this. This is most likely what you'll see. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. And here is the registry editor. So what we're going to do to get to this, we're going to go to H key local machine. And we're going to go ahead and expand that. We're going to select software. And then we're going to go to policies. And then choose Microsoft. And then choose a folder called Windows. Now, depending on there, you might need to create a new key if you don't see it. There should be a folder that's called um, Wonder. If you do not see it, like I don't see it, you might need to right-click underneath the Windows key and select a new key. And this key is going to be called OneDrive. And actually, I think it has to be very case-sensitive, I think, on the size of the text. So if it says like an uppercase O and a D, then go ahead and type it as that. So here's OneDrive. After doing that, we're going to go ahead and be sure you have that folder selected. Don't get confused by having a different one. Be sure you choose the OneDrive. I'm going to scroll down until you can see it more better. There's OneDrive. And what you're going to do is go ahead and right click underneath this side over here and select a new, and it's going to be called a D word. 32 bit, be sure you choose that. You're going to type in disable file sync um, ngsc. And pretty much that has been typed in. And for this policy to work, you would actually just click it or double click it to pretty much do it. Or you can right click on it, pretty much type in modify. They get to the same location. And change this value to 1 and press OK. Now, technically right now, you probably see OneDrive loading up. But I'm actually going to go ahead and sign out. Depending on here, I might need to restart the computer to see if this actually works fully. But I'm just going to do the sign out option first. And we'll see what it does. So here I am, signed out. I'm going to go ahead and sign back in. And we're going to see if OneDrive comes up. So here we are. Windows is loading up. I'll give it a little bit more time just to make sure. So icons are coming up. And I do not see the OneDrive coming up at all. So I think it actually is disabled. Let's make sure. If I go to this PC, I don't see. I see OneDrive right here. Oh, it literally just disappeared right in front of me with no no asking at all. So OneDrive just, boop, gone. So now if I try this out, go back, it's already gone. And pretty much OneDrive is not there. Now if you want to bring this back, it's pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and type in reg edit again underneath the search bar. And there's registry editor. You'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. It takes me to the same location where I was just at. If not, you just follow the same locations underneath H key local machine to software to policies, Microsoft, Windows, and select the folder of OneDrive. And your options to bring this back on, you can change this value of the selection to zero. And that will do the work for it. Now, technically, if you don't want to do this and you just want to get rid of this, you actually can just delete this file if you want to. And technically, disable the folder key and out of there. It's no point at all. So, pretty much now, if I go back. And if I restart this computer, now restart to sign out of it. I'm going to go ahead and sign out again and sign back in. And we're going to see if this OneDrive does come back. So here we are. We're going to sign back in. Give it a little second. I know the program takes a little bit for the program to do its work to load up. Um, 
regardless, I'm going to go to this PC real quick. Hasn't showed yet, so let me give it a second, okay? Icons are coming up. Let's see if OneDrive is going to load. I don't see it yet, so actually let's give it a try. If I actually open up OneDrive, it is there, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. It is coming up. So technically, I think OneDrive is there. I'm actually going to check to be sure it didn't get disabled underneath the task manager. So let's go ahead and, not task manager, oh well, yeah, task manager. Uh, we're going to go ahead and expand this task manager. And we're going to go to startup. I don't see the OneDrive in this list, so you might need to actually need to set this up. So let's go to start. And we're going to go ahead and type in OneDrive. And we're going to go ahead and select it. So now the program is coming up. And let's if I right click on it and select settings and on this we're going to go to settings on here start that's what happens after pretty much disabling this it pretty much disabled the OneDrive from automatically with windows so i'm gonna go ahead and check that and it's back on there and now it should be good so now if i sign out and sign back in we should be able to see onedrive loading up So here we are, and OneDrive is actually loading up correctly like it should be. So there's a few extra steps to bring it back, but we are able to get OneDrive working. Now the second option is pretty simple. It's a lot easier than having to type anything. It's pretty much just going to a location. I just go to start, and underneath the search bar, just type in GP Edit, and it shows Edit Group Posse. Go ahead and select it. And depending, it might ask you prompt. It never prompted me, so I think this is all you have to see. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. I'm going to go ahead and slide this over to make it a little bit more clear for you to see where I'm going. Uh, we're going to go underneath the computer configurations. Uh, we're going to go to administrative templates. Uh, we're going to go to Windows components. And we're going to scroll down until we see a folder called OneDrive. Once you get to OneDrive, we should see one that says prevent the usage of OneDrive for file storage. And that's what I see right here. They have both older versions too. This was Windows 8.1, but we're on Windows 10. So I'm going to go ahead and be sure I choose this one. Prevent the usage of OneDrive for file storage. Go ahead and select it and press enable. And when I press enable, it should pretty much disable the ability from OneDrive loading up. So let me go ahead and just sign back out. And sign back in. And we're going to see what happens. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and sign back in. And give it a little second. I know the programs need to take a little bit for the for it to work. And it looks like it's pretty much done loading up, and I don't see the OneDrive at all. So that pretty much disabled that. If you want to bring it back up, again, just type in GP Edit, and it brings up the Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and select it. I'm gonna go ahead and expand this again, and slide this over so you can see the whole thing. And we just need to follow the same locations underneath the computer configurations. Go to administrative templates, Windows components, and we're going to go to OneDrive. And we have that value that we just had to prevent usage of OneDrive for file storage. Go ahead and select it. And you can technically put disable or not configured. They'll do the same steps. Press apply and OK. And we're going to go ahead and sign out again and sign back in. Depending on it, we might need to change some settings underneath from OneDrive to load up, but we'll give it a try anyway. So right now the programs came up and there came actually the OneDrive this time. So that's a good one. If it does come to a point of OneDrive does not want to come up, just simply just go to start menu and open up OneDrive. And you see it, go ahead and select it, and pretty much the program will come. You really don't have to go to that settings yet to sign back in. Just right click underneath the icon and select where it says settings. And just to make sure that it says general start OneDrive automatically when I sign into Windows, and that pretty much does the work for you. That's in case this does not want to appear by automatically, but that's the second option for it. Regardless, we showed you how to pretty much disabled the OneDrive on startup in Windows 10. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video.
Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.